We all know that petrol and diesel powered cars pollute the environment. Their carbon and nitrogen emissions are a danger to the environment. In addition, fossil fuels are used to produce these fuels. People started thinking about solutions that will lead to a cleaner environment. One of them, and the most obvious one, is electric powered vehicles. Even though they have served the purpose, they have a range of concerns. Currently, electric vehicles use the concept of a battery pack that is centrally placed and is used to provide power to the electric motor. This means that energy has to be generated externally and stored in the battery. However, for hydrogen-fueled cars, this concept is different. They are built in such a way that they generate electricity on board instead. This whole idea was raised in the 1990s and since then, it has had many investors. The first companies to show interest were Honda, Hyundai, and Toyota. Over the years, other companies have shown interest and some have even started production. But let's take a look at hydrogen-powered cars that already exist. Toyota Mirai This vehicle is powered by a fuel cell which generates electricity for its onboard electric motor via a chemical reaction that removes the electrons from hydrogen. Water vapor is the only thing that comes out of the Mirai's tailpipe. When compared to a plug-in electric car, the Mirai can be charged in only a few minutes with a tank of hydrogen. The Mirai's electric motor produces 182 horsepower. A one-speed direct drive transmission sends all of this power to the back wheels. Toyota claims that the Mirai can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour, which is approximately 96 kilometers per hour, in a leisurely 9.1 seconds. When driving around town though, the quick nature of the electric motor's power delivery makes it feel perkier than that. Furthermore, the rear-wheel drive chassis provides a startling sense of agility while still maintaining a refined and balanced ride. The Mirai has a futuristic interior and a rich-looking design. All of this is owed to the copper-colored trim pieces on the dash and door panels as well as the all-digital instruments and the standard 12.3-inch infotainment screen that dominates the upper section of the dashboard. This design is worth the starting price of the car, which is $50,000. The limited model, which is more expensive, adds a moonroof, heated and ventilated front and rear seats, and three-zone automatic climate control, among other features. The Mirai is available in two trim levels, XLE and Limited. All models come with a $15,000 fuel credit and 21 days of complimentary vehicle rentals for those times when travel necessitates driving away from areas with hydrogen fueling stations. Next up on our list is the Honda Clarity. This is a different kind of Honda. It comes in two variants, a plug-in hybrid or a hydrogen fuel cell, depending on which one you prefer. Even though it has advanced methods of propulsion, the Honda Clarity still handles quite nicely as a mid-sized family sedan. In addition, it is highly rated in terms of fuel efficiency. A 174 horsepower electric motor is included in the hydrogen-powered Clarity. The motor is powered by the fuel cell, drives the front wheels in the same way that it does in the plug-in. This car can move from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 8.1 seconds. This is even faster than the Toyota Mirai, which does so in 9.1 seconds, and the Hyundai Nexo. The hydrogen-powered Clarity's range is pegged at 360 miles. However, depending on the circumstances and your driving style, you may fall far short of that goal. Unlike the plug-in Clarity, the fuel cell Clarity takes about 3 to 5 minutes to refuel its tank. While this is a nice simple car, it has a very cozy interior. Even though it has a shorter wheelbase than the Honda Accord, it has well-shaped front seats that can accommodate large adults. However, the back seat is a bit cramped up, with nearly 4 inches less legroom left. The trunk capacity of the fuel cell is 12 cubic feet, with a standard 8.0-inch touchscreen infotainment interface. Dual-zone automatic climate control, smartphone connection, and all available safety features are standard on both Clarity models. If you live in California, Honda will lease you a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle and provide you with a $15,000 fuel credit. Next up, Audi H-Tron Quattro. The brand with the four rings unveiled this car some time ago. The H-Tron offers quiet, clean driving with an all-wheel drive grip and a top speed of 124 miles per hour. Audi claimed that the car would hit 62 miles per hour in less than 7 seconds. For every 62 miles, the four-seat H-Tron Quattro concept is reported to require a kilogram of hydrogen. Its powertrain is a combination of a 121 horsepower electric motor driving the front wheels and a 188 horsepower electric motor at the rear axle. So generally, the H-Tron's fuel cell delivers 148 horsepower. However, it also comes fitted with a supplementary lithium-ion battery pack that can temporarily deliver surges of up to 134 additional horsepower on demand. The H-Tron, unlike the e-tron Quattro concept, has a 1.8 kilowatt-hour battery pack that is only 132 pounds. 
It gets its energy from the hydrogen fuel cell stack, breaking energy or both. However, that is not the only source of power. Audi took a step further by lining its roof with 320 watt solar panels, claiming to provide a free 621 mile range per year. All of the concept's fuel cell activation is regulated by a novel management system designed to maximize efficiency while maintaining a slightly rear drive feel. All power is obtained from the battery rather than the fuel cell stack at low speeds and with light throttle openings. When the battery runs out or the power demand rises, the vehicle begins to push hydrogen via its fuel cell. The car has three 10,150 PSI hydrogen tanks, which carry a total of 6 kilograms worth of hydrogen. They are located in the transmission tunnel, under the rear seat, and under the cargo floor. Much has not been said about this concept car, but we believe that they are still planning to produce it. The Mercedes-Benz GLC F-Cell This is a special type of Mercedes as it operates on both innovative fuel cell and battery technology. This is one of the first vehicles to run on both electricity and pure hydrogen. For the first time, the Mercedes GLC F-Cell includes a completely new fuel cell system that is so small that it can be contained in the engine compartment. It's also mounted in the same places as a regular engine. Furthermore, when compared to the predecessor car, the use of platinum in the fuel cell has been reduced by 90%. It carries a long 4.4 kilograms of hydrogen in two carbon fiber encased tanks built into the vehicle floor. All thanks to globally standardized 700 bar tank technology, Replenishing the supply of hydrogen takes about 3 minutes. The GLC F-Cell is said to consume around 1 kg of hydrogen per 100 km. The lithium-ion battery is estimated to have 13.5 kWh worth of power. It also acts as a power source for the electric motor. This plug-in technology makes it easy to charge at a conventional household socket, a wall box, or a public charging station using 7.4 kW onboard charger. The massive storage battery, like the asynchronous motor, which has a torque of 375 newton meters and a power output of 160 kilowatts, equal to 217 horsepower, is positioned in the back of the SUV to save room. The BMW iHydrogen Next The BMW Group is starting to test near-standard hydrogen fuel cell vehicles in real-world scenarios on European roads. The BMW i Hydrogen Next is an all-electric vehicle that converts hydrogen into energy in a fuel cell. The hydrogen tank of the BMW i Hydrogen Next fills up in 3 to 4 minutes just like the fuel tank of any other combustion engine vehicle. In all weather conditions, this fuel provides a range of several hundred kilometers. This BMW's entire drive system blends hydrogen fuel cell technology with BMW's 5th generation e-drive technology. This technology can already be experienced in the BMW iX3 and it will soon be experienced in the BMW iX and i4. The energy produced in the fuel cell delivers an electrical output of 125 kilowatts. This is equivalent to 170 horsepower. There is an electric converter that is located below the fuel cell. Its primary role is to match the voltage of the electric motor which then powers the BMW. The hydrogen for the fuel cell is kept to two 700 carbon fiber reinforced plastic tanks each of which can contain up to 6 kilograms of hydrogen. It creates energy in the fuel cell by a regulated reaction with oxygen with water vapor as the only emission. These are just but some of the hydrogen-powered vehicles that are confirmed for production and others are even on the road. It is clear that these cars do not ruin our environment in any way. What do you think of the cars? Would you buy one for yourself? Which other hydrogen-powered cars do you know? Let us know in the comment section below. Remember to like the video and hit the bell button to get notified on our next video. Until next time!